Hello and hey, today we're messing around with golf with your friends. This time going to be the Escapist Classic Guide for release day, the official release of Golf with Your Friends. So pretty excited. I was curious to see if there'd be any sort of changes, UI changes, physics changes. Seems everything's pretty much intact aside from some polish sound effects on the UI and of course the brand new course. So as we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, I hope that this guide will be helpful to you. And hole number one, we're going to aim right at the flag stick, go just above one and a half power. One and two thirds is probably the safest. Obviously, avoid the guard and hole in one. Hole number two, we're going to go ahead and go three power. There's a line on the right wall, and then we go just like a uh, cursor length away from it. And then just hold jump, whatever button that is for you, and you will jump directly into the hole at the end of that sequence. Hole number three, gonna go ahead and go full power, the left side of that piece that holds the tile on the top of that triangle. Sorry, I was a little late with that description, just didn't know quite what to call that. Hole number four, full power, gonna go right here. Sort of the left side of our cursor needs to be pointed at the tile that is two forward and one to our left from the beginning. I just get in, I would need to go a little bit more left to center that up. Hole number five, I'm gonna go three and a half power aiming sort of just left of the bottom left of this gray corner on this side. You can go a little bit lighter on the power, just wanna make sure that we're clearing that middle plank and getting down into the hole. Hole six, my recommended shot is going to be full power sort of right here on this first incinerator oven. And it kind of gets us you know, pretty close. If we go a little bit further to the left, and not too much further than this, you will end up directly next to the hole. Unfortunately, there's no way to really correct that as far as I know, and unless I'm missing the shot, the shot that you're going to need to get a hole-in-one is very, very specific, like pixel perfect. This is just one of them. There are a couple different shots, and I don't recommend going for that. However, unless I'm just missing the hole-in-one, which is very possible on release day. Hole number seven, I'll show you about as hard as you want to go. You want to go just under to power. We're going to aim a little bit to the left of the hole. And once we release, we're going to hold jump just kind of immediately and not have to press it for each individual time. It'll just jump automatically. And as you see there, I went about as quick as you want to go. Otherwise, you'll bounce out of the hole. Hole eight, pretty specific shot again. We want to go to the left side of that incinerator. Uh, just kind of aiming just barely left of the leftmost edge of it. It's a very tight shot, so don't be discouraged if you miss it. However, you want to miss to the right if you're going to miss. That way you stay on the course. Hole number nine. This is pretty tricky again. It's pretty specific. You need to go when the air is on. And even then, we had a lot of speed there, so it's, it's pretty tight. I don't recommend necessarily... Uh, beating yourself up too much about it because you'll be right there for the easy two if not and for the back nine of this we can talk because this is just going to be a series of like full power or nearly full power shots the next one will be three and a half that way we can actually get into the bottom of this gate and not have to worry about hitting it but as we kind of talk here the, as it comes to the back nine i am less confident that these are the actual strategies that will be used going forward the front nine obviously if we have hole in one to every hole that's a good thing but I don't quite know some of the tricks on the back, if they are possible. And just want to throw that out there while we get through this long, long hole. Hole 11. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know the hole in one for this, if there is one. But I want to aim where the door meets the frame on the left side here. Full power. That kind of gets us through this little maze with a very, very easy cleanup for the eagle. And you want to go, you know, around three-fifths, three-quarters. Three Make sure you don't overshoot. Hole 12, we get back to our hole in one ways. We want to go just over three power, aiming the left side of our cursor to the center of the flag stick. And we want to wait just a little bit before we jump. This is about as slow as you can go and still make it into the hole. So I recommend a tiny bit more, but not too much. As again, you'd have too much power. Hole 13, I was kind of messing around here, see if I can get something a little bit trickier. I don't think the hole in one 
is possible just yet. I got close a little bit, but two and a half, kind of aiming up that wall, really anywhere on it. And then second shot, we're going to go two power, aiming it just right of that crack that's just barely visible, you see me, going towards. Because the second shot relies on where you end up with the first shot, don't try to, you know, replicate that second shot to a T, but just be aware, that's what you're kind of trying to do. And then hole 14, I am definitely missing something because I keep getting directly next to this hole no matter like how little of power I take off I try to bounce off different walls it's not quite happening so but full power right at that first inner uh section dot thing and that's where you'll end up pretty much every time this hole can be quite tricky hole 14 here I want to take just one pixel of power off and that looked funky because I did hit the seam I was aiming for the seam that's why we've gotten there you can almost get a hole one off of that sort of broken seam uh, otherwise, the second shot, no matter what you do, is just to get in the hole, and since you'll be, again, in a different spot every first shot, it can be tricky, but just to point that out, this is just a tough hole. Hole 16, I was looking for something easier, however, it's not. We want to go almost full power. We need to jump at just the right time to land on the farthest uh, green space and then come back through the water, and the faster you go, the harder it is. Hole 17, we want to get up the right side of our cursor to the like edge on that rock. It's a little light tinge that you can see. But that's not quite good enough. We want to do a little bit better. Uh, unfortunately, the shots that will get us a little bit better are basically pixel perfect. So here is one of them. It's a little bit safer of the two. Uh, you kind of end up on the right side of the hole. Still not that close and not worth the risk. But even closer than that is like a one pixel over. We end up on the white of the hole. And unfortunately, I've never had that go in. I'm not sure if I'm missing another shot on this hole, but the recommended shot's going to be this, and this is probably a little bit too far to the right. It was, and we kind of get this weird shot. So it is pretty specific no matter what you do here, but we'll go ahead and knock this one in. About one and a third power, kind of aiming left of the hole to account for the slope of that hill. And then finally, hole 18, like to go just above three power, kind of aiming at this dot on the wall. On the right side of it, uh, we're going to end up in front of this rock, which we will use at full power or like two and three quarters, depending on how far away you are from it to kind of go through that gap instead of over that gap. And then for the last and final shot, the third shot, we want to go generally two and four fifths, kind of aiming to whatever side of the hole you are on. And that one is possible in two because I've shot through that one time, which is why I always shoot full power because something just happened once and I was able to get up there and it was really close to two. So unfortunately I didn't quite make it, but that one is definitely a three. It takes a little bit of practice, but I'm sure that you'll handle it when it's over with. So apologies if I went a little bit too fast on some of those holes. Some people like when I go really slow. Some people like when I go like even quicker than this. So I just try to kind of find the balance in the middle. Hopefully I don't just upset everybody by not doing exactly what everybody wants, but Lack of better words, we have a officially released game, and that's pretty hype. This is probably Team 17's best course, in my opinion. I think Worms is really good, and I think The Escapist is even better. The other two that they've released are, or other three, I should say, are fine. Um, but this one, I think, is the, the, the stud of the bunch. And with now 12 courses, um, I'm excited to get out and ready and doing guides for the other 10 that don't have current 2020 updated guides. So, sorry to ramble there, just excited about the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe, guys.